In this video, I'll teach you how to set special permissions for an enterprise project. Suppose that you're the project manager of an enterprise project in either Project Online or Project Server. And you need to be able to give special permissions to a fellow project manager who needs to be able to open and edit your project as well. In this video, I'll teach you how to do that. So let's get started. I'm the project manager for a project known as Acquire Helping Hand Acceptance Corporation. Because our organization has the default settings applied in Project Web App, I'm currently the only project manager who can see, open, and edit this project. However, there is a fellow project manager named Caleb Sylvia who needs to help me with this project. He needs special permissions to be able to open and edit the project. So I can actually set these special permissions to allow him to do that by completing the following steps. First, I'll click the row header at the left end of the row for that particular project. This action not only selects the project, but it also expands the project's ribbon up at the top. In the Navigate section of the project ribbon, I need to click Project Permissions. This will display the Permissions page for this specific project. You can see that I have not currently defined any special permissions for this project. To specify these special permissions, I need to click the New button. That will display the Edit Project Permissions page for this specific project only. In the list of available users and groups, I need to select Caleb's name and add him to the list of users on the right side. Then in the permissions grid, I need to select all of the special permissions I want to grant him. Well, the truth is, I want him to be able to do everything, to open the project, to edit the project and project summary information. I want him to be able to publish the project, to view it in the project center, to view a detailed schedule and PWA. And if we're using the SharePoint project site, I want him to be able to access that as well. I need him to be able to do what I can do with this project by granting him special permissions. When I click the Save button, Project Web App will set up those special permissions, and those are displayed now on the Permissions page. Notice he has all of these special permissions. He's allowed to access this project, to open it, edit, make changes, save, publish, close, check in, the same way that I have permissions. So that's how to specify special permissions for an enterprise project. Well, now you know how to set special permissions for an enterprise project in either Project Online or Project Server. It wasn't really that hard, was it? We just needed to know where to click. If this video was helpful to you, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. If you're new to this YouTube channel, I hope you'll subscribe and click that notifications button. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.